Hi guys, today I'm going to explain the topic relevant and irrelevant cost as a part of decision making and applying marginal analysis. In my previous video, I had asked a question and this is the answer to that. A manager appoints a new employee for a monthly salary of $2,000 and allocates five hours of an employee to train the new employee. Does the scenario involve any implicit cost? And the answer is yes, it does. Because the number of hours that the employee is using to train the new person, he could have done something else during those five hours. So it does involve implicit or the opportunity cost. Let's talk about relevant cost. Now, what cost will be known as a relevant cost in any decision making scenario. So these are the four points which you have to keep in mind when you want to decide whether the cost is relevant or irrelevant. The first point you should bear in mind is that the cost should be made in the future. Secondly, they should differ among the possible alternative courses of action. That is suppose you plan to start an extra unit in your factory so there is a possibility that you may or you may not start. If you start, there'll be extra expenditure, right? So that will not be there if you plan not to start it. That means this cost, it will differ among the possible alternative courses of action. So it's a relevant cost. Suppose you plan to do your higher education. If you plan, you will have extra expenditure. And if you don't want to go ahead with that, there will be no expenditure. So that is a relevant cost. Only avoidable costs are relevant. Just now I gave you an example. In that it's avoidable, right? It's avoidable that you, if you don't go to the higher college or high for higher education, that cost is avoidable. So that is relevant. Unavoidable costs are irrelevant. Unavoidable means which has already been incurred. They are also known as sunk cost or or you can say committed costs. For example, suppose you're running a factory and you have already paid the rent for the past one year. So that rent which has already been paid, it's an unavoidable cost, committed or sunk cost. So it is irrelevant to any future business uh, or decision making scenario. Incremental, marginal or differential costs. Now, incremental cost is also, also known as marginal or differential and they are very much inherent in the concept of relevance or relevant cost. Let's learn about what are avoidable costs, one or two examples and incremental or marginal costs. Avoidable cost, as I already discussed, they may be saved by not adopting a particular option. For example, variable, raw material and direct labor cost. Unavoidable cost, we cannot avoid them. They are already committed. They are also known as sunk cost. For example, lease payments that we have already incurred. Now, an important note that has to be kept in mind that whenever we talk about relevant cost and revenues, Emphasis has to be on total revenues and costs and not on unit revenues and unit costs because unit revenues and unit costs may be calculated depending upon a particular level of output. So they may vary as the output varies. So emphasis should be on total revenues and costs. We have to be very clear about incremental, marginal or the differential cost. What it means? Marginal cost is the additional cost incurred by generating one additional unit of output. Now, in marginal cost, you would consider the increased total cost that will arise from the production of one more unit. Here, emphasis should be on increased total cost. These costs can have an effect on the pricing of the product. Now, let's work out an example of incremental cost. 
that will make the concept easy and it's very very important that you in decision making questions or scenarios you know the concept of relevant irrelevant cost incremental cost everything very clearly now this is an example where you going to calculate the incremental cost it is also known as marginal or differential cost for example suppose you manufacture 1000 mementos for a total cost of 30000 this means per memento cost will be dollar 30 is that right 30000 dollars divided by 1000 that will give you dollar 30 per memento that is your cost of production per memento now you decide to produce 2000 mementos and that would cost you a total of 20000 Now this means your per memento cost will be dollar ten. Now how did we get this dollar ten? We divided the total cost for two thousand mementos divided by two thousand will give you dollar ten. Now how do you calculate the incremental cost? As I told you before, also we have to take the total cost. From that we'll find out the incremental cost per unit of product. Let's see initial total cost. when you were producing 1000 mementos it was 30000 so initial total cost is equal to 30000 and when you decided to produce 2000 mementos the total cost was 20000 now what is the difference the difference between these two is $10000 and this difference of $10000 has arise arisen because of what it is because of the 1000 extra units that you produced so incremental cost per memento if you have to calculate it will be the extra total cost that you have incurred divided by the extra number of units that you produced so that will give you dollar 10 per memento this is the incremental cost per memento that has in, uh, happened because of the change in the number of units of production i hope i'm clear with this concept of incremental cost in case you have any doubts or in case you have any questions on your cma topics which you want me to clarify please do mail me i'm uh, i'll be giving my mail address in the description box you can definitely ask me any questions you want i'll answer them or any topics you want i'll definitely explain them